Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks very much for joining us again today. And I will be showing you today how to size an image for Wix in both the desktop and mobile version of the website editor. So how to change the size of an image once you have it imported or if you've got an image as part of your preset that you've got that you need to change the size and shape of. So to do it on the uh, desktop version of the editor, you single click the image. You'll see sometimes that, you know, single click in the section actually selects the section itself. And what we need is to single click the image within the section. So if I single left click it again, you'll see that I get these little spheres appear on the borders of the image. Now that will allow me to single left click and hold and then drag and reshape that image. So that's essentially how you make it smaller or bigger. Now you can see um, quite useful actually is the fact that it holds the, what's regarded as the aspect ratio of the image, okay? So the relationship between the height and the width is always maintained, which is useful. You should want that. Um, otherwise, you could kind of very quickly distort and change the aspect ratio of the image, which would make it look strange. Um, so always drag from the di diagonal when you've got an option to do so. And you can click, click and drag it in on itself like that to resize it and make it smaller. And then obviously drag it outwards to make it larger like that. Now, if we switch to the mobile version of the um, editor, the same rule applies exactly, okay? Only this time you'll notice that you've got more spheres and you can actually change um, not the aspect ratio, but what appears there, okay? So you can see as I'm moving the borders of the image in, it's kind of um, taking away the margins of it and kind of shrinking it down to size to fit within that little area as well. Um, so you know, you'd need to kind of take into consideration how it's going to look both on mobile and desktop and find a balance, basically, when you're making these changes to the image in mobile. As you see, I've shrunk that down now to make sure that you can see it all. If we go back to the desktop version of the site, for example, no change has occurred. OK, so you'd need to kind of um, ensure that your website and images are formatted for both desktop and mobile users. OK. Um, you'd imagine that a lot of your users are going to be on mobile devices these days, depending on the nature of your website. So you need to make sure that it looks right for them as well. And you can see, um, you know, as it gets to a certain size, the top of the H and I start to get chopped off. So be mindful of those things, you know, depending on the, the size and where you leave it. You know, at some points it does start to kind of crop the image a little bit. Um, so bear that in mind as well. And that concludes our video tutorial. If you need professional one-on-one -on -one custom support from Wix experts, then click the link in the description below. Even if you need a complete rebuild or redesign of your site, the support team of Wix web developers is here to help you. If you find this video useful, then please make sure to like and subscribe for more website tutorials, as well as comment below if you have any video requests for future videos. Thanks.